Hello everyone, welcome to my channel DG Learning. I am Ranjita and I am going to give you the B8 notes of paper 8A unit 2. Paper 8A unit 2 we have started in the last video I gave you half of the topics we have covered. Uh, paper 8A of that is knowledge and uh, curriculum SK unit 2 that is construction of knowledge. इसके हाफ पार्ट हमने ब्रूनर्स थ्योरी और बहुत सारे कुछ लर्नर सेंटर टीचर सेंटर ये सारे चीज हमने फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो में कवर अप कर लिए थे फर्स्ट वीडियो में ये मैं इसके सेकंड पार्ट लेकर के आई हूं इस वीडियो के यहां पे आपको कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ नॉलेज के बारे कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ नॉलेज एंड थ्योरीज ऑफ पियागेट्स एंड वाइगॉट्स की विद इट्स इंप्लीकेशंस फॉर कैलकुलम ये सारे चीज आपको यहां पे मिल जाएगा ओके इस वीडियो में मैं आपको कंप्लीट करवा दूंगी पेपर 8 एक ही सेकंड पार्ट 8 ए यूनिट 2 विल बी कंप्लीटिंग इन दिस वीडियो ओके सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट अस स्टार्ट दैट इज कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ नॉलेज थ्योरीज ऑफ पियागेट्स एंड वाइगॉट्स की इंप्लीकेशंस फॉर करिकुलम कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ नॉलेज थ्योरीज ऑफ पियागेट्स एंड वाइगॉट्स की आर देयर एंड इंप्लीकेशंस फॉर करिकुलम आर देयर ओके सो फर्स्ट कम्स टू द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ नॉलेज Knowledge construction is a collaborative process which aims to produce new understanding or knowledge which exceeds something that anyone alone could not achieve. It is also essential that knowledge construction is based on each other's ideas and thoughts. Learner develops his or her own knowledge. Knowledge is constructed by the individual on the basis of their own experience. Learner is constructed by learner themselves and every child is active that is constructor of knowledge. Okay, now comes to the main function of construction of knowledge in classroom. It promotes students to formulate their own questions that is inquiry allow multiple interpretations and extensions of learning that is multiple intelligence and encourage group work and use of peers and resources that is collaborative learning sorry peers and resources collaborative learning means encourage kare zyada group work zyada collaborative learning okay now comes to what is constructivism 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 is a part of the cognitive that is development theory of learning. Constructivism is focuses on the knowledge and learning. Each individual is actively involved in the process of learning. Students participate in the construction of their own learning. Learners need to understand how they process and learn information. New knowledge is must be connected to background knowledge. Okay, so this was the constructivism. Now comes to the process of constructivism. In the classroom that follows constructivist approach, students work primarily in groups and learning and knowledge results from the dynamic interaction in the group. There is focused emphasis on social and communication skills as well as collaboration and exchange of ideas among the group members in constructivist classroom various active learning activities are encouraged some activities encouraged in constructivist classrooms are first is the experimentation students individually perform an experiment and then come together as a class to discuss the result research projects students research a topic and present their findings to the class Field trips. This allows students to put the concept and ideas discuss in class in a real world context. Field trips would often be followed by class discussions. Films. These provide visual context and thus bring another sense into the learning experience. Class discussions. This technique is used in all the methods described above. It is one of the most important distinctions of constructivist teaching methods. Next is the benefits of constructivism. Understanding increases when actively involved in learning. Metacognition increases as students become adept at reflective practice.
social and communication skills increases through group collaboration next is the differences between piaget and vygotsky source of cognitive development piaget believed that the most important source of cognition is the children themselves piaget emphasized the role of an inbuilt that is biological tendency to adapt to the environment by a process of self discovery and play vygotsky emphasized the role of culture and experience vygotsky believed that what drives cognitive development social interaction a child's experience with other people culture shape cognition now comes to the overview of piaget's theory of cognitive development it gives stages cognitive process see piaget's theory of cognitive development stages sensory motor or sensory motor stage pre operational stage concrete operational stage and formal operational stage okay is cognitive process schema assimilation accommodation and equilibration theek okay? or its implications let us see jean piaget piaget was a swiss biologist philosopher and a psychologist Being a biologist, he knew the importance of environment and process of adaptation. Being a philosopher, he had a keen interest in epistemology. He is also known as the father of child psychology. Okay, now comes to the cognitive development. Piaget's cognitive development was a progressive reorganization of. mental processes as a result of biological maturation and environmental experience children construct an understanding of the world around them then experience discrepancies between what they already know and what they discover in the environment now comes to the theories of piaget in his theory of cognitive development jean piaget proposed that humans progress through four different developmental stages first is the sensory motor then pre operational stage then concrete operational and last one is the formal operational period first comes to the stage 1 that is cognitive development theory that is the sensory motor stage sensory motor stage is from birth to age 2 means 2 years In sensory most motor stage, there are six sub stages. That is reflex, primary circular reaction, secondary circular reaction, coordination of secondary circular reaction, tertiary circular reaction, and mental combination. Okay. Next is the stage two. That is the cognitive development theory. Sorry, stage two of cognitive development theory. That is pre operational stage. प्री ऑपरेशन स्टेज जो है वो सेकेंड ईयर दो साल से सात साल तक है एज टू टू सेवन ड्यूरिंग द स्टेज द चार्ल बिगिन्स टू डेवलप एबिलिटी टू रिप्रेजेंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स विद इमेजेस एंड वर्ड्स लैंग्वेज स्किल्स इमेजिनेशन चिल्ड्रन लर्न थ्रू इमिटेशन एंड प्ले ड्यूरिंग द स्टेज दे बिगिन टू यूज रीजनिंग हाउ एव इट इज मेनली इंट्यूटिव इंस्टेड ऑफ लॉजिकल स्टेज थ्री ऑफ कॉन्टी डेवलपमेंट थ्योरी दैट इज द कॉन्क्रीट ऑपरेट ऑपरेशनल स्टेज जो है एज सेवन टू एज ट्वेल्व ड्यूरिंग द स्टेज द चार्ल बिगिन्स टू डेवलप द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ लॉजिक एबिलिटी टू शॉर्ट ऑब्जेक्ट्स एबिलिटी टू क्लासीफाई ऑब्जेक्ट्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ कंजर्वेशन दैट इज फिजिकल क्वान्टिटीज डू नॉट चेंज बेस्ड ऑन द अरेंजमेंट्स एंड और अपियरेंस ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट नेक्स्ट इज द स्टेज फोर ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रीट डेवलपमेंट थ्योरी This is the last stage and the formal operational stage that is age eleven to age fifteen. During this stage, the child begins to develop ability to hypothesize, test, and re-evaluate hypotheses. Children begin thinking in a formal, systematic way. Next is the cognitive process. Piaget's that is nineteen thirty six theory of cognitive development explains. how a child constructs a mental model of the world 
He disagreed with the idea that intelligence was a fixed rate and regarded cognitive development as a process which occurs due to biological maturation and interaction with the environment. Next is the schemas. Piaget's thought schemas to have this ability to change as people process more experiences. According to his theory, a child would modify, add, or change the existing schemas as new information or experiences occur. He saw the schemas as mental organizations controlling behavior or adaptation to the environment. Next is assimilation. Assimilation is a cognitive process that manages how we take in new information and incorporate that new information into our, our existing knowledge. This concept was developed by Jean Piaget, a Swiss developmental uh, psychologist who is best known for his theory of cognitive development in children. Last is the accommodation. Accommodation involves modifying existing schemas or ideas as a result of new information or new experiences. Equilibration. Such balance occurs when the expectations based on prior knowledge fit with new knowledge. The Swiss psychologist Jean Piaget used the concept of equilibrium to discuss one of four critical factors in cognitive development, the others being maturation, physical environment, and social interaction. Next is the implications of Piaget's theory. Here Piaget's last point. Educational implications of Piaget's theory. Piaget's theory has had a major impact on the theory and practice of education. In a Piagetian classroom, Children are encouraged to discover themselves through spontaneous interaction with the environment rather than the presentation of ready-made knowledge. Teachers should carefully assess current stage of development and set tasks that the child is ready for. Piaget's theory of cognitive development has been extremely influential in developing educational policies and teaching. Discovery learning, the area that children learn best through doing and actively exploring was seen as central to the transformation of the primary school curriculum in most of the world's countries. Teachers should act as guides in children's discovery learning and the curriculum should be adapted to individual needs and intellectual levels. Our next topic is the Vygotsky theory. According to Vygotsky's cognitive development theory, cognitive abilities are gained through social guidance and construction. The development and formation of abilities like memory, learning, problem solving, and attention takes place through the role of culture as a mediator. His approach to child's development can be considered as a social constructivism form. He believes that social interactions produce cognitive functions. Next comes to the educational implications. The educational implications of Vygotsky cognitive development theories are as follows. First point is learning is child-centered. Child-centered. Vygotsky's cognitive development focuses on child-centered learning in the classroom. Learners are active. In the classroom, applications of Vygotsky cognitive theory, learners play an active role instead of a passive one. Social interactions are important. Vygotsky's theories believe that cognitive functions are facilitated by social interactions due to which learners need to engage in the same. Learning by discovery. Vygotsky Cognitive Development Theory also focuses on learning by discovery and exploration. Focus focuses on knowledge focuses on knowledge improvement. Vygotsky's cognitive development theory enables learners to gain skills such as problem solving, inquiry, self-determination, and critical thinking. 
challenging tasks are included. Vygotsky theory also believes in the provision of challenging group tasks that are cooperative and collaborative. Fosters the development of learners. Teachers must focus on all-round development of learners. Instructional methods should be such that it is comprehensible to learners and fosters their growth and development. So here we have completed the Vygotsky's Cognitive Development Theory. Now comes to the construction of this theory. Sorry, conclusion. Conclusion of this theory. Vygotsky's theory put emphasizes on social interactions for new knowledge and behavior to be learned. So here we, yeah. so here we have completed the Unit 2 of Paper 8A. Paper 8A Unit 2 first part I have already given you in the first video. Here this is the second part and here we have completed the paper 8A. I hope so this video is helpful for you. Yes one more thing thank you so much for your support. I have completed 7K subscribers. Thank you so much. I hope so this video is helpful for you. If this video is helpful for you then please like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching.